Ladies and gentlemen, you're on seven. It's 9.30, Thursday. Time for Here's Parry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Parry. Good evening, and welcome on this very nice, fine, what day is it? Thursday evening. Here, I've got short socks on. I hope you're not looking under the desk tonight. I've got my short socks on. The first Easter present, look. Aren't they lovely? Look. They're nice, aren't they? Aren't they? It came in a big egg. I opened it, and it wasn't half a pong. And they hadn't washed them. They're second-hand socks. Do you like that? Two pints make one cavort. What about, like the, what about that other one you just told the audience? Girls go to such lengths to get a mink coat that when they finally get one, they have trouble buttoning it. They laughed like mad just now because I told it in the break. I did. <laughs> they didn't laugh now because they'd heard it before. <laughs> Hello, Roger. How are you? Howdy, old buddy. How's that? Oh, I see. I see you've got all blonde hairs, all of you. <laughs> just as well the blonde, isn't it? <laughs> just as well the blonde, it really is. We've got some misprints this week, haven't we? Why do you say this is where they're blonde? My wife's not blonde. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was. <laughs> I thought she was blonde. I do beg your pardon. I'm we... awfully sorry. We if she's watching, I apologise. You can't say that you're here, is that? You can. You can say the mine if you want. I don't mind what people say about me, as long as they keep saying something. <laughs> We've got a lot of, um, yes, a lot of news. Have you noticed in the newspapers all the, pardon me, them sausages was greasy? <laughs> Now, you're supposed to say, those sausages were greasy. And then I say, oh, you had some as well. But it doesn't matter. Um, have you noticed all the misprints that you see in the papers? They're never in the dailies. They're always in the evening papers. Have you noticed? Oh, I have noticed, yes, yes. It's a, There's one here it's about... one of my pet hates, as a matter of fact. Well, we're not doing that yet, are we? No, it's later. No. Oh, that's for later, Sean. That's for oh, later. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is London Saturday. Relief for palace people. And uh, it goes on about the Earl of Snowden's private avowal that he and Princess Margaret are in, are in love and happy surprised. Now, that's bad, isn't it? Are in love and happy surprised a lot of the people who lived in the royal palaces. Oh, that's something that, that they've missed out. There's a lot of mistakes here underlined, yes. and I, was, I read through that looking for one. I, I couldn't find one. That's interesting. Yeah, can I read it? Yeah. Thank you. You're right, darling. <laughs> Until the Earl spoke out in New York, some of his royal relatives were beginning to wonder whether the House of Windsor was in for Anontha, Anontha, nasty shock. A number of alarming, a number of alarming dumas about Tony and the princess had reached court circles. And there's another one here. Queen Elizabeth doesn't mind her sister having an occasional tiff with her husband. That's a beauty. These are legitimate. By These the are way. true. Yeah. Uh, here's one. It hastily diluted its story before publication when it learnt of the anonususment of the Bahamas trip. <laughs> All, all, these are, all in one article, not spread yeah, over the whole this is, this is one, article. one article. And here's the last one, which is very nice. Margaret and Snowden are, as two of the more glamorous members of the group, the group, are prime objects of this curiosity, which tends to mangify small incidents into big ones. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven errors in a paper, mm. and not the daily. Evening. No. I suppose it's because they're rushing out, stop pressing that, and they want to get things over quick. Yeah. There was one last week they asked us not to do it last week. Do you remember? Oh, you didn't say, not last week, Monday, when Tony was here. And we did them all, and there's one here which they said, don't do it. Well, to heck with it. I think we might have just as well. It's in the paper, and anybody can read it. And it's, it's there, look, where I've crossed it out, you see. But it's, this is the one. Uh, Win, Winfield Courier, Kansas. As an uncle. Oh, no, I can't do that one. <laughs> no, I can't do that one. <laughs> no, I can't. No, look. It says Virginia, but well, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> no, I can't oh, do that. <laughs> I think we'd better leave that one out, Sean. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is one. Did we do that one? Philadelphia Bulletin, Beethoven, was a great musician. We did. Oh, let's do it again. He had ten children and practiced on a spinster in the attic. <laughs> I like it, don't you? 
Oh, that, that, we haven't done that. I'll, you can do that one. Go on. Let him do this one. We haven't done that. I love the names of some of these papers in the States. The, Cle the Cleveland it. Plain Dealer. Two men narrowly <laughs> escaped death yesterday afternoon as their boat overturned after hitting a tugboat. The only thing that kept them from drowning was the fact that they were not in the boat, but having a beer at Mike's Tavern, about 50 yards from the lake. <laughs> here's one, here's one, which I found in a, in a periodical. Uh, I'm sorry about the back of it, so don't put a close-up on it. Um, I said, don't put a close-up on it. <laughs> Good. It's a pity, because it's a bit sexy. This is the court, court classic. The notice sent to prospective jurors in a Washington county points out that state law allows women to claim exemption from jury service by reason of sex. One male residence, resident who received a jury summons returned his notice with a special explanatory note, underlining by reason of sex. He added, at 69, I don't claim exemption because of sex anymore, but my hearing is even worse, and because of that, I wish to be excused. <laughs> nice. Okay, you got any? I've got... Have you got some? Oh, I've got a little bit here. Well, well don't hide them. them. It's something to do with the doodles. If you remember, we asked a lot of people to send their doodles in last week. And, uh, do you have any doodles there? <laughs> yes, I've got... I think I've got a doodle. Hang on. Oh, I've got a misprint here, one of those. Can I read that one quick? <laughs> 